Fall is almost here. Soon the temperatures will start to drop and the leaves will change colors. But that doesn't mean it's time to stay indoors and catch up on TV. Here on Energy, we'll show you some of the great events still going on in your O'Fallon parks, like the annual Pool Paws Dog Swim held at the Alligators Creek Aquatic Center. The outdoor pools may be closing for the season, but at the Alligators Creek Pool, patrons got one last chance to dip their paws in the water. Families from across O'Fallon came out to doggy paddle around with their best friends. This is called Pool Paws, and we do this at several different um, pools throughout the county and throughout the region. And the whole purpose is to get people to come out and have a really good time with their animals so they can enjoy the pools. The pools will be closing for the summer, so the animals get their last day in the pool and everybody has a really great time. And we also raise money for the Animal Alliance. Pool Paws is a great chance to get outside and enjoy a leash-free day at the pool with your dog. Retrievers, setters, terriers, and more had a blast swimming laps, diving for toys, and playing in the water at pool paws. We try to come every year to these uh, dog swims. Uh, they're a lot of fun to begin with, and um, it's a good cause. It supports some, they always support some form of animal welfare group. It's fun, and, and our dogs have a blast. There are two things that make pool paws an awesome day at the pool. First, there's no shortage of wagging tails and happy faces. And second, this event helps support a worthy cause. The Missouri Alliance for Animal Legislation is a group that concentrates all its efforts on improving animal legislation that helps animals in Missouri, in the state of Missouri. So next year, grab your favorite four-legged friends and come on out to the annual Pool Paws Dog Swim. This has been a great event. We've had no problems. All the dogs are getting along. They're having a great time. There's dogs that have never been here before and they're having fun. There's experienced swimmers that are out there having a great time. It's everybody's having a good time. And even if you, if the uh, people don't have a dog, people are coming just to watch the dogs because it's just fun and funny to watch the dogs play. What does a 300 yard swim, an 18.6 mile bike ride, and a 5 kilometer run have in common? That's how far our athletes raced at the 10th annual Alligators Creek Triathlon. The sun was shining bright at the 10th annual Alligators Creek Triathlon. Hundreds of competitors braved this tough and rugged course, racing their way through the streets of O'Fallon. The Alligators Creek Triathlon starts off at Alligators Creek Aquatic Center. It's a 300 yard serpentine swim up and down the lanes. After the swim's over, they head out on the bike course, uh, which goes out as far as Highway P, and then they head back towards O'Fallon from there. Uh, once they're off the bike, they go out on a 5K run uh, through some of the subdivisions in O'Fallon. For a decade now, thousands of triathletes have come to the Alligators Creek Triathlon to test their abilities against the rolling country hills that have come to define this course. Maybe it's the struggle against these hills that makes this triathlon so appealing. And maybe that's why we see so many familiar faces year after year. This triathlon is unique because it, it is shorter distances, which you'd consider kind of a sprint try, but the hills are pretty killer out there. We've got rolling hills on the bike ride, and the 5K run is just uh, two large hills that uh, really challenge the runners out on the course. New triathletes and seasoned pros alike love this triathlon, and for many, it's become a tradition. My friend Karina, her and I do this second year in a row, and it's kind of our thing. It's fun group, it's fun ride, uh, got lots of hills. Here's a rundown of the top overall winners from this year's Alligators Creek Triathlon. In the men's overall category, Mike Barrow took first with a time of 1.12.22. Steve Boynoff came in second with a time of 1.12.58, and Chris Buer finished third with a time of 1.16.36. In the women's overall category, Karina Winkler took first with a time of 1.27.46. Julie Wrights came in second with a time of 1.29.43, and Flavia Bader finished third with a time of 1.33.13. The triathlon wouldn't be possible without the hard work of our Parks and Rec staff or the countless hours donated by our amazing city volunteers. Uh, this is our 10th anniversary for the Alligators Creek Triathlon. Uh, it's something that we've grown each year. It's kind of matured into what it is today. Uh, the nice thing about it is the Parks and Rec staff has become, really become a big team and really uh, help the event grow. Uh, the sponsors that we've been able to build up over the years have really come through 
and uh, just helped make the event great for the participants. Congratulations to all of the triathletes who swam, biked, and ran their way to the finish line. We'll see you again next year for the 11th Annual Alligators Creek Triathlon. The fields may look empty now, but they're packed with soccer action on the weekends, thanks to our Youth Soccer League. Young soccer lovers kicked off the summer season with our exciting O'Fallon Soccer League. This great league focuses on skills and fundamentals while providing a fun and competitive atmosphere. I have one child out here, kindergartner. He just started kindergarten this year. He's having a great time. This is his fourth season playing. We've had the same coach throughout, so that makes it fantastic just because of the consistency and having some of the same kids and just really learning to kind of respect his coach and other authorities. Playing in this league is an awesome way to introduce kids to soccer, and the response this year was overwhelming. Like all of the sports offered by the City of O'Fallon, the Soccer League offers kids a chance to make friends while playing the sports they love. And since there's no better way to learn than by playing, our game-heavy league will make your child a soccer veteran in no time. Um, at this age, they're working on ball handling skills. Uh, they've just started with um, having goalies now, so last year they didn't. They are playing dramatically different than they did when they started at three, and uh, it's really fun to see their growth. The O'Fallon Soccer League does more than just teach kids how to kick a soccer ball. Learning to enjoy sports is a lifelong lesson. It's great fun, it's good exercise, and really for the little kids it's just good teaching too. So it's good exercise, it's also learning team sports, cooperation, and like I said, kind of respecting others and just mom and dad at home. If you want to get your child involved in the O'Fallon Parks and Recreation Sports League, check out your O'Fallon Rec Guide for a complete listing of available sports opportunities, or call the Renaud Spirit Center at 636-474-2732 for more information. If your workout needs a change of pace, grab your gym clothes and come down to the Renaud Spirit Center to sign up for one of our fitness classes starting now. Tired of the same old exercise routine? Shake things up by joining one of the many popular fitness classes offered at the Renaud Spirit Center. With dozens of classes offering a huge variety of options, there's no better way to get yourself in shape and keep yourself there. Need to work on your cardio? Then get your heart rate up, increase your energy levels, and have fun doing it with our cardio conditioning class. Incorporating cardio boxing, strength moves, deep stretching, and more, this is one workout you'll really feel. My Monday cardio conditioning class is unique because it combines conditioning, um, cardio, strength, it does a little bit of everything. I love how it's never the same week to week. So one week we'll work with the balls, one week we'll work with the bands, one week we'll be working on the ground. Kim always keeps it fresh and changes it up. If you want a body sculpting workout that will blow you away, check out our Zumba class. Zumba is a fusion of hypnotic Latin rhythms and easy to follow dance moves that delivers a dynamic, fat burning workout that really gets results. Zumba Fitness is unique because it's dance mixed with your fitness. You get to have fun, enjoy yourself, a little stress relief, but you're getting the full body workout all at the same time. We're just doing 20, that's it. It's no surprise that joining one of these fitness classes can have far reaching benefits. Physically, you feel better, you have more energy, you have less aches, you have less pains, you feel better, you look better. This was just a small taste of the many fitness classes offered at the RSC. For more information, grab your O'Fallon Rec Guide or check it out online at the city's website. Ready to sign up? Contact the Renaud Spirit Center at 636-474-2732. Achieve your goals with the Renaud Spirit Center's fitness classes. You should come to an RSC class because the instructors are great. They're going to help you feel comfortable. You don't ever feel awkward walking in. It's, that first class is always the hardest. You walk in, you don't know anybody, you don't know where to go or what to do. All of the instructors are very accommodating. I say you will be addicted once you begin coming. You won't be able to stop and um, you'll just look forward to it. There's still lots of parks and rec action ahead. Stay tuned after the break right here on Energy.
For the fourth consecutive time, the city of O'Fallon, Missouri has been named one of the country's best places to live, according to Money Magazine's list of America's 100 best cities. Coming in at 39th on the 2012 list of cities, O'Fallon is the highest ranked city in the state of Missouri and one of only three Missouri cities to be ranked by Money Magazine. For additional information, visit www.money.cnn.com. Welcome back to Energy. Summer's almost over, but that doesn't mean our parks are closed for the year. Here's your inside look at some of our fall activities. Every summer, O'Fallon's parks are home to some of the best events in the area, like the Heritage and Freedom Fest, the popular jam and concert series, our many sports leagues, and a lot more. We might be nearing the end of the summer months, but that doesn't mean our parks will be closing up. This is your inside look at all of the great parks activities coming this fall. Well, summertime we had a lot of activities going on with sports and uh, softball, city league, soccer. But now since all that's wrapping up, we're approaching the fall league. In the fall league we have a lot of things going on, especially the Renegade football. The O'Fallon Renegade footballs which is held at Dames Park. Some of the other activities, uh, we have city league softball starting in August. We'll have uh, OCAC baseball starting in August and then we'll have our City League Soccer starting in August at, down at Sports Park. Besides our sports leagues, we've also got a bunch of family-themed parks activities coming up. Starting in September, hop on an old-fashioned tractor-pulled hayride through beautiful Fort Zumwalt Park. Get a chance to meet and buy from the best regional artists at our fifth annual art fair, or grab your flashlight and go on a spooky scavenger hunt at our Halloween-themed haunted park hunt. But you don't need a special occasion to come out and enjoy the natural beauty of O'Fallon's parks. Oh yes, they can come out and use any park they want. We, have, we offer trails to hike through. We have uh, pavilions to sit down. We have plenty of playgrounds for the kids to play. We have nice walking trails, walking paths through the, through the parks themselves. This is just a taste of what's coming up this fall. For more information about any of these programs and for more awesome family events, check out your O'Fallon Parks and Rec Guide. It's one of the best ways to stay up to date on what's going on around O'Fallon's parks. The RSC recently closed for a week of intense cleaning and you'll appreciate the results all year long. Every year the Renaud Spirit Center closes its doors for a week and gets to work. Power washers, floor waxers and scrub brushes make their way out of storage and the great RSC cleaning event is underway once more. What's neat about shutdown week is the entire recreation staff is here uh, putting in a lot of hard work, getting the equipment clean, a lot of fresh paint on the walls, uh, the pools being cleaned. It's just, everything's going to look real nice when we open back up. Before the shutdown week is over, nearly every inch of the RSC will have been combed over, spruced up, and gotten ready for the reopening of the facility. A lot of the stuff we're doing this week, um, we have the slide uh, polished and repaired. Uh, we replaced all the filter media, uh, which is thousands of pounds of sand, basically. Um, we're doing a lot of painting this year in the fitness center, so when the members come back, they should see a big change. All the multi-purpose rooms uh, that have the, uh, the floors that are waxed, they're being re-waxed, so they're being completely stripped down to nothing, and then uh, wax reapplied on those. So there's a lot of things going into shutting down this week at the Renaud Spirit Center. Setting aside a week per year to do some truly heavy-duty cleaning is what sets the Renaud Spirit Center apart from other fitness facilities. I think uh, shutdown week is very important to the members of, and residents of O'Fallon. Uh, it just helps us keep the fitness center, uh, the whole entire building looking as new as it possibly can. That's a big thing that sets us apart from a lot of other facilities in the area. And when members walk in, people getting tours of the facility for the first time, they're always surprised about how clean and how nice everything looks. And a lot of that wouldn't be possible if we didn't shut down for a full week every year. Let's explore one of O'Fallon's best parks and check out what it has to offer. Football is the name of the game at Dames Park. With three football fields and 59 acres of practice area, the action never stops. But it's not all pigskins and gridirons. 
Dames Park also has two playgrounds for kids, three picnic pavilions available for your next event, restrooms, and a concession stand open during games. Dames Park is also home to several exciting fitness options. A one-mile asphalt walking and biking path snakes around the park, and a unique World Trail fitness court makes it a snap to exercise outdoors. Enjoy the natural beauty of one of O'Fallon's best parks while working towards a healthier you. Also at Dames Park is the Omer J. Dames War Memorial, a monument that was among the first in the nation to be dedicated in honor of the U.S. soldiers killed in the Vietnam War. Inscribed on the memorial are the names of the 19 St. Charles County servicemen who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. So whether you're a football fanatic or an exercise enthusiast, Dames Park is exactly what you're looking for. Come out and enjoy the many amenities this park has to offer, or just enjoy a day surrounded by the beauty of Dames Park. There's always something to do in O'Fallon. Here's a look at what's coming up. Starting on September 14th, the newest Cultural Arts Gallery exhibit will feature Jim Ketting's underwater photography. Jim's photographs have been featured in the San Diego Tribune, Baltimore Sun, and the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Come check out his printed canvas work at the Renaud Spirit Center, which will be on display until October 26th. Book an old-fashioned tractor-pulled hayride through beautiful, historic Fort Zumwalt Park and gather around a bonfire afterwards. With plenty of space for families and groups, our hayrides are a fun new way to experience one of O'Fallon's best parks. Hayrides are scheduled on a first-come, first-served basis, and two weeks' notice is required. Call the Renaud Spirit Center to preserve your hayride today. Sign up for a spooky Friday night scavenger hunt in O'Fallon's most haunted park. Prizes will be awarded to the top three teams that decipher the clues and tally the most points. Bring your flashlight and make sure your teammate registers too. The registration deadline is October 12th, so sign up today. On October 20th, put on your favorite Halloween costume and come down to Ford Zumwalt Park for our annual pumpkin picnic. Kids can munch on hot dogs, pick a pumpkin from our patch, go on a hayride, and listen to spooky stories call the Renaud Spirit Center to sign up. Starting on November 30th, share the laughter and tears of the characters in Steel Magnolias, the latest performance by our talented O'Fallon Theatre Works actors. Written by Robert Harling, Steel Magnolias is filled with hilarious repartee, strong characters, and touching moments. Tickets are $10 for general admission and $8 for students and seniors. Tickets go on sale Monday, October 29th, and can be purchased by phone or in person at the Renaud Spirit Center. Today on Energy, you raced along with our 10th annual Alligators Creek Triathlon, mixed your workout routine up with a new fitness class, and took a walk through one of O'Fallon's beautiful parks. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and burn some energy. 